No brain, no bones, no heart, just a translucent blob drifting through the ocean. But don't be fooled. This is one of Earth's oldest and weirdest creatures. Jellyfish have been around for more than 500 million years, long before dinosaurs even existed. They don't swim with muscles. They pulse. They don't think. They respond automatically to light, current, and touch. Some species glow in the dark using bioluminescence. Others use venom to hunt or defend. And the box jellyfish? It has 24 eyes and a sting that can kill a human in minutes. Yet, no brain. And then there's Turritopsis dorni, the so-called immortal jellyfish. When injured or old, it reverts back to its baby stage and starts life all over again. A brainless, spineless time traveler, still surviving after half a billion years. It looks like a harmless beach decoration, but this brainless creature has a stomach that leaves its body. Sea stars, or starfish, have no central brain. Instead, they have a nerve ring and radial nerves in each arm. They move using tube feet, hundreds of tiny suction cup legs underneath. And when they catch prey like clams or mussels, they pry it open and eject their stomach through their mouth, digesting it outside their body. They can regrow arms, and some can even regenerate an entire new body from just one arm. No brain, but borderline superpowers. And despite having no eyes, they can still sense light and direction. Brainless, but far from helpless. It looks like a living pincushion, but it's very much alive and entirely brainless. Sea urchins don't have a brain or eyes, yet they can navigate, hide, and even react to shadows. They move using hundreds of tiny feet, called tube feet, powered by a unique water vascular system. Some species, like the flower urchin, are venomous, with stings that cause paralysis or extreme pain. And here's the weird part. Their entire body is covered in light-sensitive cells. It's like their whole body is one big eyeball. Despite being slow and spiny, they can detect movement, avoid danger, and find food, all without a central nervous system. They may look like rocks with spikes, but they're constantly on the move, without ever thinking about it. Soft, slow, squishy, but when danger strikes, the sea cucumber throws up its own organs. Yes, when threatened, it ejects sticky, toxic intestines to tangle up predators, then just crawls away like nothing happened. It has no brain, just a nerve ring, but its defenses are weirdly effective. Those organs grow back in weeks, a complete reset. And some species even produce chemical toxins that can kill nearby fish. On top of that, their body can change shape. They can soften to squeeze into cracks or harden instantly when touched. The ultimate weird but it works strategy, powered by a nervous system that doesn't even need a brain. At first glance, coral looks like colorful rock, but it's actually a colony of tiny animals each one called a polyp, working together. No brain, no eyes, no central control. Yet they build massive underwater structures, coral reefs, that can be seen from space. Each coral polyp uses calcium carbonate to form a skeleton. Over generations, those tiny bodies form vast cities of life. Coral reefs support 25% of all marine species, yet they're made entirely by animals with no brains at all. It looks like nothing more than a lump. But the sponge is one of the oldest animals alive. And it doesn't have a brain, nervous system, or even organs. It survives by pumping water through its body, filtering tiny particles of food. Some species move slowly across the sea floor. Others grow into huge, colorful shapes. And here's the wildest part. If you blend a sponge in a blender, The cells can reassemble themselves into a new sponge. That's right. It regenerates from being a smoothie. A literal pile of cells, held together by water flow and teamwork, that's outlived almost every other species on Earth. No mouth, no eyes, no brain. But somehow, clams have been thriving for hundreds of millions of years. They live buried in sand, filtering water through their gills. Their nervous system is minimal, just enough to open, close, and react to vibration. They don't hunt, they don't chase, they just wait, filter, and survive. The oldest clam ever discovered lived for 507 years, born before telescopes were invented, and still alive when it was accidentally opened by scientists. If slow and steady wins the race, this thing already won.
cut it in half, and both sides keep living. That's the flatworm, one of nature's weirdest survivalists. It has no brain, just simple nerve clusters called ganglia. But what it lacks in thinking power, it makes up for in regeneration. Slice it once. Two flatworms. Slice it again. Four. Some species can even grow a second head on the wrong end. No thoughts, just multiply. The hydra looks like a tiny alien plant, but it's actually an animal, a simple tube with tentacles and no brain. It floats in fresh water, stinging tiny prey with cells called nematocysts. But the craziest part? Hydras are biologically immortal. Their cells constantly renew. They don't age. They don't die from old age. If left undisturbed, they just keep regenerating. Forever. No spine, no brain, no death. It looks like a glowing gummy worm, but it's one of the ocean's strangest predators. The Nuda branch is a soft-bodied sea slug. No shell, no bones, no brain. It absorbs venom and stinging cells from its prey and stores them in its own skin. It's like eating hot sauce and becoming spicy. They don't just survive danger, they become it. No thoughts, just defense by design. Their bright colors, a built-in do not touch sign. A living crawling warning label with zero intelligence. This is brain coral. It looks like a giant intelligent brain sitting on the sea floor. But guess what? It has no brain, no nerves, no thoughts. It's just a colony of coral polyps, tiny animals working as one. Each polyp builds calcium walls. Together they create structures the size of cities. Brain coral supports entire ecosystems while being completely brainless. This creature is born with a brain and then eats it. Meet the tunicate, a sea squirt that starts life as a free-swimming larva. It has a tiny brain and a tail, just enough to move. But once it finds a rock to settle on, it absorbs its own brain. No more movement, no more thinking. Just a stationary filter feeder for the rest of its life. The only animal that literally digests its own nervous system. Covered in bristles, segmented, ancient. The bristle worm isn't winning any beauty contests, but it's survived millions of years without a brain. It senses vibrations and chemicals using simple nerves. It doesn't think, it reacts. Some species have venomous bristles that sting anything that gets close. Others glow in the dark or regenerate entire body parts. No head, no plan, just reflex and survival. It looks like a flower, but it's a predator. Sea anemones have no brain, no bones, no eyes, just tentacles packed with stinging cells. They wait, they grab, they digest. Some even hitch rides on crabs. No brain, no problem. These creatures prove that intelligence isn't everything, because in nature, survival isn't about thinking, it's about adapting. Some of the simplest creatures are also the most successful.